bad son-in-law. Harry faces backlash over alleged body shaming of Thomas Markle in memoir. Hello friends, welcome to Breaking Royal News about the notorious hypocritical couple Harry and Meghan Markle on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News version 2 channel. In his memoir, Spare, Prince Harry referenced Meghan Markle's father, Thomas Markle Sr., drawing attention to his description of Thomas's appearance. Prince Harry's comments on Thomas Markle Sr.'s physique stir controversy during a Seven News Spotlight special. Markle's father, Thomas Sr., and half-siblings, Samantha Markle and Thomas Markle Jr., participated in an interview. The host cited passages from Prince Harry's memoir, including a statement about Meghan mourning the loss of her father. In response, Thomas Sr. said that his daughter killed me and then mourned me. The special also included this excerpt from Spare. Every day there was another humiliating photo in the papers. Thomas Markle buying a new loo. Thomas Markle buying a six-pack. Thomas Markle with his belly hanging over his belt. This statement about the former lighting director's physique sparked outrage, with some labeling Prince Harry as cruel. One social media user commented, With all his privilege and wealth, Harry has the audacity to criticize Thomas Markle Sr.'s physique in spare. Another added, Harry chose to be cruel because that's what he is. The only one he's nice about is his wife. I don't even think he likes his kids. He rarely talks about them like doting dads do. A third user wrote, I watched that show last night. It was despicable what Harry said about Thomas. That's his children's grandfather. I was mortified. However, some defended the Duke of Sussex, arguing that he was merely stating the truth. A Sussex supporter noted, it's a truthful description. Another suggested, maybe actually read the book. Context is important. He was pointing out how awful the press was for publishing photos like that, not saying it himself. Thomas Markle Sr. appeals to Prince Harry for reconciliation assistance. In the same special, Meghan Markle's father expressed his desire to reconcile with the Duchess of Sussex. The two have not spoken for nearly five years. Thomas Sr. shared that it is his dying wish to reconnect with his daughter and admitted that they were once very close. Thomas Sr. said Meghan used to love him and considered him her hero, but then suddenly I was thrown out. I wish that we could sit down and talk. I wish we could work out our differences, Markle's father expressed. He asked Prince Harry to take the lead in bringing them together. I think Harry should take the lead here and try to put us together in some way. I think he could help. However, this seems unlikely, as Prince Harry has also distanced himself from his own royal family. An outspoken insider said, I'm convinced she lied to Harry and painted him as an abuser of some sort. She already did play the victim regarding her family when getting married to Trevor, so it's not new behavior. Hell, there are probably a ton of problems in that family, as in many others, already as it is but she does like to add to them as she sees fit at that moment. I think that is one of the reasons why she absolutely needed to cut ties with her family. She used the damsel in distress shtick to get to Harry, but because it was a fabricated thing, she needed to lie in regards to who was her boogeyman, so she said it was her dad. And then she absolutely could not let those two meet. If this is the case, I don't blame Harry for not meeting and being hostile to him. Who would want to have anything neutral or positive to do with their spouse's abuser? I suspect it's not the case that he was abusive the way she might have portrayed to Harry, because if he was, I'm pretty sure a simple back off or I'll tell the world what you did to me while being backed up by the British royal family would have sufficed. Also, the rupture in the relationship was too abrupt for it to have been such a deep-rooted problem. I also think him not complying with her beauty standards and the perfect picture she had in her head for her big fake for the public not us were so humble, I invited half of Hollywood that we don't know, but not a single member of the family apart from my mother, for I'm biracial, you see, not even the niece that I adore wedding, 
played a role in her wanting him out of the picture. However, Harry had all the power in the relationship. He wanted someone to like her, who would go along with his delusional co-king dream. There's a match made in hell. Also, I really wouldn't fat shame anyone if my great-great-grandfather had to have special sex chairs designed due to his weight. Just saying. And yes, I kind of want more details about that. I'm convinced there isn't a low for Harry. Every time I think he hit rock bottom, something even worse comes to light. Frankly, even if he'd left private British royal family stuff out of his book, this remark about Thomas, his cruel description of the matron at his school, and the way he talks about women, all add up to him being unfit for royal duties and someone who thinks they're better off without. Poor Thomas. Yes, he spoiled Meghan, but I really think he did what he thought was best at the time. It's not easy basically being a single parent who's working. He gave her everything, and this is how he's treated. She's evil. I also think Meghan was ashamed that he was overweight, which is one of the main reasons she didn't want him at the wedding. He doesn't fit her ideal image. Therefore, he had to be discarded. I really hope Samantha and Tom Jr. can help him semi come to terms with all this. My heart breaks for him. No one deserves Harry and Meghan as family. According to one source, Earl Spencer had had a massive stroke a few years before the wedding and at one point nearly died. The stepmother Diana despised, so much so that she pushed her down the stairs, devotedly nursed him and got him back on his feet. He managed to walk her down the aisle. When she eventually died, Diana and her siblings put all their stepmother's possessions into bin bags and left them outside the front door. They were brutal to rain. They're a weird mob, the Spencers. Harry is all Spencer in character. The fact Earl Spencer wasn't in perfect condition shows how none of it truly matters unless you're the fantastest Megan that is. If Sparrow had any compassion or guts, he'd have gone to meet Thomas regardless. In a way, Harry's lousy personality was inherited from Diana. Her whole marriage was a mess from the beginning. Charles simply couldn't give Diana what she wanted. He tried, but they were simply incompatible. She was young and wanted all of his time. He was and is a workaholic who wasn't used to people arguing with him. He got Diana help after the famous flinging herself down the stairs while pregnant incident, which followed many less dramatic hysterical outbursts. But she never stuck with the therapy she needed and ended up taking advice from psychics, which didn't help someone like her with real mental health issues. Her youngest son has inherited all the negative sides of Diana's personality, such as her vindictive nature and tendency to obsess over people. It's all very sad. What do you think about Harry's lousy personality and the way he treats his father-in-law? Let us know your thoughts below in the comment section. We hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this newsletter. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.